Hello and welcome and uh, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make uh, a simple rain as the one you see here when uh, the rain is uh, hitting the ground you will get these small rebels in different sizes yeah let's get to it So let's start up to make the, the raindrops. So let's create um, a particle system. And this particle system we can call rain. And what we need to set here, if we take the first one here, Let's set the, let's see, start lifetime, the speed we should set to zero. So it will, look, sorry, let's go over here. So it will look like this. Then we will set our start size to 0 0.05. So you can see now it starts to spawn a bit randomly. Let's set the color to a little darker, something like this. You can tweak it so it fits your needs. Uh, the gravity modifier will set to one, so now it will fall down, as you see here. Um, the si uh, simulation space, we will need to take worlds. Simulation speed, we have in zero, and we have the scale with body and that is what we should take here now let's go to emission and emission i would say let's take 140 um, this will do so you spawn more uh, particles so if you bump this up you will have many more but i will recommend set it to 140 in my case here then go to the shape and in the shape, you'll like to have a circle. And then you can bump up the radius. Uh, in my case, it will be 30. We will have, yeah, that's what we need here. So already now, you see if we, let's pull this up a bit. You can see it starts to rain. So, what else do we need? Uh, let's uh, take or uh, mark off the collision. And in the collision, we also need the world. So you can see now when it hits uh, the ground, uh, everything actually that has a collider, it, it bumps uh, up. And that we can, uh, can stop by setting one in lifetime loss. So when it hits something, it will, it will yeah, disappear. So now let's create the material. So create uh, material and we'll call this material frame. And in here we will take in the shader, I will use the UI uh, onlet transparent. And that's actually what you need to do here. Now we can, uh, the color we can tweak down a little bit like this. And now we can go to the rain, go to the renderer and put in the material. And then we need to find the stretch. Where did I? And uh, sorry, uh, in the rain. Let's go to the render down here where we just added the rain material. And in the billboard, let's make a stretch billboard. Then it will make uh, the particles uh, longer. And the speed scale, let's set it to 0 0.06. So now you can see they're getting uh, long. Uh, the length scale is good, the normal direction is fine. 
I would say everything is fine here. So now when you see on your screen, it looks a bit like rain particles. Maybe we should take the color here and make it a bit darker like this. Then it's easier to see on the screen. So now it's raining. Now let's take a look at the, the ripples on the ground. So now let's uh, create the, the ripple. So let's create a new effect particle system. I call this uh, ripple effect. And here we of course need to tweak some things as well. So zero point, oh sorry, zero point five in duration. Um, we have the start lifetime will be 0 0.5, the speed will be 0, uh, start size will be 0 0.5, uh, the start color, I will make it a little darker, like something like this. You can always tweak this uh, when it starts working, then it's, it's easier to see. The simulation uh, speed will be worlds. Um, and that's what we need here. In the emission, we will set it to zero. And in bursts, let's add one. And we will only add, we will only need one ripple to appear. Uh, yes. Then let's go to the shape. And in the shape, we need a circle as well. And uh, the radius will be 0 0.01. So this, uh, this is doing so, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the, the area where it should spawn. So when a raindrop hits the ground, it should spawn within this radius. Uh, and the random and yeah, that's everything. Then let's go to color of uh, uh, lifetime. Turn that on. And I would like if you take the top one here, that is the alpha. The bottom one here is the color. It's a, a gradient editor. So I would say it should disappear like here and then I will move this up a bit like this and I will just leave the colors here as they are but else you can just press this one and change the color here if you want it to be changed then uh, go to the render and here we need a horizontal uh, billboard so the ripple will spawn on the horizontal axis. And here we need uh, a material. So let's create. Oh, we can actually just duplicate the rain material. Let's rename this one to uh, Matt Ripple. And here you will need a, a texture. And I already have the texture from uh, my other one. I will just, sort of just drag it over here. And it's a simple uh, image as you see down here with just a circle. And if you don't want to make it yourself, you can always go to my webpage, gamemasterworld.com, go to 2D sprites. And uh, so. There we are, and here it is. And if you just press download, you'll download uh, this ripple icon. And yeah, you can simply just use that one. So let's take the, the material, drag in the icon. Remember when you, uh, when you import it, remember that the alpha is transparent, should be on. Then it will remove the background of sheet uh, below here, else it will be black. So 
remember that. Um, yeah, that's what we need there. So let's take the ripple effect and drag in the new material. And as you see here now, now it's actually there. So let's, we are of course need to say the size of lifetime. And I like the, the default one, so just let it be like that. And now we need to make it spawn when the raindrops are hitting. So let's take the ripple effect, drag it down here, and just remove it from the scene. Take the rain, go to the sub emitters, drag in the ripple effect. Ah, sorry, I forgot that it's because it's uh, unpack the, the prefab again, go to the rain, and now drag it in. It's ah, so, sorry, I'm uh, I was a bit confused. Take the ripple effect, put it underneath the rain. Uh, now take the ra the rain here, go to the sub emitter, take the ripple effect, drag it over there. In birth. Take collision, and that should actually nothing. Let's see, yeah, keep it as nothing. So here we go. So now when we we hit play, you can see it working. So now we can run around in rain and we have the raindrops and we have the ripple effect. Feel free to adjust the the, the settings uh, of your needs of course. Uh, this was just a simple method to to make it look like it's <laughs> raining with the with the ripples. So yeah, that was what I had to show you today. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, if you want to see more videos from me Remember to hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you and see you next time.